You don't get in life what you want. You only get in life what you deserve. Got this beautiful mansion in Malibu. It's crazy. But most importantly, I just got this thing. I just got this thing. Hard work and dedication. And it's so crazy because I ain't even supposed to have some kind of car like this. Flipping burgers at McDonald's. Teachers telling me I ain't going to be shit. Never having an AB honor roll. Having to get a GED. How the hell do I got this? Because I manifested it. I didn't let what the world and what the teachers and what friends and families tell me and, and have it stop me back. I kept using my mind and I kept focusing. And I kept working hard and I still do that, do that to this day. Focus, being consistent, putting in the work, putting in the effort every day. I don't watch Netflix. I don't hardly ever go to the fucking club. If you follow me on Instagram, I never go to the club. I'm never going to the bars. I don't do any drugs besides what? Some boss, boss ass cigars. I ain't cool. That's probably my only vice. Old fashioned every now and then. I ain't got time. I work. Motherfuckers usually get dressed to go to the club. I get dressed to go to meetings. I put on some fly shit and go meet my friends and we talk about different business investments, crypto. We talk about um, how to actually build funnels the right way. We talk about how to track our sleep the right way. We talk about things that optimize us to success. What our dreams are, what's the vision? What are we writing on, your, uh, what, on our vision boards? What we plan to accomplish in today and then within six months and then within a year. If you and your friends ain't talking like that, you ain't got no circle, you got a cage. You're being held back. You're holding yourself back. I know people that get in relationships just to get away from the work they got to do. Literally, I know men and women wishing that they was in love because hopefully if they're, they're in love, that'll make them feel better. No, what makes you feel better is putting in some fucking work and putting in the pain to actually achieve something in life. No human is going to give you that. You got to give yourself that. Everybody's scared to work, though. I ain't even supposed to have nothing like this. I'm only showing this for motivation. I'm only showing this for motivation. That's why I'm talking this way. I'm not flossing on you. I want to floss with you. We should have mansion fucking Lambos. That's why I do these videos like this every fucking week. I do this video to try to help train your mind. Because ain't nobody telling y'all the right shit. Nobody's telling... Everybody's telling you what to do, but nobody's telling you how to do it. Nobody's telling you how to think properly. Nobody's telling you how to manifest your dreams and turn it into reality. This is boss talk right here. This is king talk. If you ain't on that shit, get the fuck off my page. Boss is only on this page. Boss is only on this YouTube. Big steppers, big dreamers only on this YouTube. If you, if you ain't about none of that, get the fuck off here. <laughs> Go watch a, a music video or some shit. But if but this is this is for people who want to who need motivation. This is for people who want to make it. This is for people who want to retire their mom, retire their parents. You know how good that shit feels if like let's say that you um let's say a family member gets sick. You want to be able to have enough in a bank account because you want to do more than just have to pray. Like I, you don't want to live a life where you're always asking God for shit. You want to live a life where you're always thanking him for shit. It's a difference. It's a difference. I wake up out of bed, I meditate, and I pray, and I give thanks. You know why? I, I give thanks for stuff I didn't even have yet. I th this Lamborghini is not that exciting. You know why? Because I feel like I've already had it before, because I've had it in my mind this whole time. I wake up and give, I was waking up and giving thanks for something I didn't even have yet. You see how that works? Because I knew I was already, I was already going to get it. So now that I got it, I already feel familiar with it. It's not that exciting. I already knew I was going to get it. I'm going to get whatever the fuck I want. All I have to do is work hard, be consistent, be patient, and take little baby steps towards my goals every day. Write it on my vision board, get my to-do list as I showed you all in my past videos, and get closer and closer to anything I want. None of this stuff is fully exciting like that because I already felt like I had it. Look at this view. Look at the backyard view. I haven't even officially, I just bought this, but in, in this house, I haven't officially closed it, but we closed it on Tuesday. My son, we just had his um, birthday in the backyard. His name's Zane. 
So we did this little birthday thing or whatever. Just the backyard. I don't have a fucking pool, but fuck it. I just go down to the ocean if I want to. We're on the highest hill. It takes 25 minutes to drive up here. One well, supposed to have none of this shit. One well, supposed to have any of this shit. How the fuck a motherfucker with a GED, no AB on a roll, no college education, but guess what? I got heart. It doesn't matter. Keep that book smart shit. do not matter. I ain't the smartest in the room. You may have more resources, but guess what? If we if we both get on the treadmill, I'm gonna keep running. I die on the treadmill. That's heart. Let me crank this up, bang up real quick. Show y'all what this thing working with. get this ain't nothing special about me any of y'all watching this video y'all could get this too easily easily all you have to do is focus don't buy into the entertainment don't buy into the what society wants you to do just because your parents love you and give you advice doesn't mean that advice is going is for you it doesn't mean it's going to work for you you know what my mom told me and my mom loves me to death you know what she told me when i was first coming up Go to the military. You need to go to the military. Man, if I would have listened to her, my whole life would have been fucked up. <laughs> and she loved me. So you gotta listen to your heart. But once you actually get an idea, you have to write it down and here. You have to work towards it every day. I keep telling you guys this because that's so important because everybody has goals and dreams, but nobody has the motherfucking balls to go get it. I told you there's a difference between a beta and an alpha. I asked you in the last video, what you gonna be? You gonna be beta? You gonna be soft? You gonna be weak? You gonna die not accomplishing shit? Or you gonna be an alpha and you gonna be a motherfucking lion and you gonna go get whatever the fuck you want? You gonna be an alpha and you gonna be a lion and you gonna go hunt? Or you wanna be a beta and be weak and you wanna be the prey? It, it, it's that simple. Have heart, have focus. Learn how to say no. Learn the power of saying no. I get, look, I live in the hills. I'm in, I work with every celebrity you could think of. Every fucking night, these motherfuckers have a party. I'm always saying no. I, I got shit to do. I know how to say no. I know how to build my dreams. Because here's the question. If I constantly say yes, when a motherfucker pulls up like this, I'm going to be in this seat. Because I don't know how to say no. People that know how to say no, they end up in this seat. They end up being a driver. People that say yes to everything, weak people that don't have dreams, weak people that can't control their emotions, they end up in this seat. Secondary. Being Knowing this person is cool enough for this person. What TLC call them, scrubs? Yeah. 
alpha, beta. You want to be the driver of your, of your life or you want to ride in the passenger seat of somebody else who had the balls to go after their dream? That's the question. This channel is for alpha mindset people. This, is, this channel is for success-driven people. If you want any other thing, then you shouldn't even be on this channel. Flipping burgers at McDonald's, flipping burgers at Wendy's, Lamborghini Huracan, and this ain't it. You know what I'm saying? You know I got the Bentley, you know I got the Porsche, and I'm gonna keep going. Again, it's just for motivational purposes. These things are materialistic, they're toys. They don't really fucking mean anything. It's all about what's in your mind, it's all about your spirit, and it's all about what's in your heart. This is just a manifestation of all that. This, but this, bro, this, this ain't nothing, man. It's just a materialistic, it's, it's art. I love the ingenuity, but at the end of the day, I can't die with this shit. I know people that live for shit like this, man. I'm probably gonna drive this thing once a month. It's, it, it's to me, this is more like an art piece that just sits in a garage. I'm not even gonna drive it like that. Where am I gonna go? To the fucking studio? I don't really have a social life like that. What, I'm gonna go to the cigar? Yeah, I'm gonna drive up to the cigar bar so I could discuss more business. I'm not using it for y'all. I had some dudes walk up to me to um, the yard, man. He was like, man, if I had this car, man, I'd be getting all the girls. Wait, wait, so you need a car to get women? <laughs> what the fuck? You, you see how people think? That's crazy. This is probably why he doesn't have the car because of the, the weak mindset. Dream big, think big, stay consistent, and always remember, you don't get in life what you want. You only get in life what you deserve. The world is not yet a crazy enough people, uh, the world is not yet a crazy enough place to reward undeserving people. Please remember that. And it's never too late to start. You may be watching this, you may, you may be older, and you may be thinking, oh, I'm too old to do this, or I'm too old to get into music. No, you're not. Colonel Sanders with KFC, he didn't even, that, that company didn't even pop off until he was 65. Jay-Z didn't even make it in the industry, industry until he was 27. It's never too late. But like that old saying goes, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. And the second best time to plant a tree is today.